now address another important story uh, with uh, the Amphi data that just came in. Radhika Gupta, MD and CEO at EDY's AMC is with us. Radhika, thanks so much uh, for taking our time for us. Could you just talk to us about the equity outflow that continue in Feb? However, the velocity uh, was way lower. Yeah, so uh, while equity numbers were in aggregate about 10,000 crore negative when you look at the number, if you add all categories, hybrid funds and solution funds and international funds, you're probably looking at a net outflow of 7 to 8,000 crores. This is definite, it's a negative flow, but as you said, the velocity of the uh, number has come down substantially. There was a point when this number was closer to 15 to 20,000 crores. And what one does here, and in fact, the first few days of March, the data is actually positive for the domestic equity. I think post the budget and some of the sort of good news coming in from earnings, there is more client interest as far as domestic equities is concerned. I think we are seeing that in our own flows as well. The categories like mid-cap funds, small-cap funds are now turning positive in terms of flows. Hybrid funds like balanced advantage funds are uh, rock solid in terms of flows. So, it bodes well that the trend is turning industry-wise. Okay. You know, uh, Radhika, there's one interesting trend. Flexi-cap outflows have been over 10,000 crore rupees. Multi-cap inflows are being seen for the second month in a row. This is, of course, after the whole, uh, uh, you know, SEBI notification with respect to the categorization. So if you could just explain to our viewers about why we are seeing this sort of uh, uh, momentum in both of these categories. Flexi-cap, of course, being the new one, and many multi-caps have changed their category to Flexi-cap. Honestly, this one is a little curious because we don't have a large flexi-cap fund. I suspect what has happened is some money, because it's a very large number, 10,000 crores of flexi-cap outflow is a very, very big number. And in the context of the other categories, 4,000 crores in multi-cap is a very big number. I suspect that there has been some serious switching from existing flexi-cap funds into multi-cap funds. It could be that you had flexi-cap funds that were sort of very large in size because they were the erstwhile multi-cap funds and people are moving the money into maybe more mid-sized multi-cap funds. So that could be something that's happening. But I suspect that this is a switch from one category to another. That would explain it because, you know, 10,000 crores is a very big number uh, as is 4,000 crores compared to what you see otherwise. Interestingly, the debt fund category has once again started seeing net inflows. Look at liquid funds, 17,000 crores of net inflows. But, um, uh, you know, Radhika, thank you so much uh, for joining us just to quickly analyze what we saw in the month gone by. The net outflows from equities continues for yet another month. Total outflows as well uh, have continued, you know, from an outflow point of view. On that note, we'll take a very short break, but we'll be right back with more exclusive stories and news.